Welcome to Sundance. You know, have you been here for a little bit, or what's happened? I, well, I've been here for a few days. Went skiing. You know, did the rounds. Uh, did a little press this morning. It's great. I love. I've been here many times. So it's uh, it's like coming back to an old friend's house, sort of. You know. Yeah. It's great. Is it? A, have, you, have you been a jury a jury before? I was in the jury one year. Yep. Uh, and I've had six, it's my sixth uh, film that's screened here. Yeah. So my last movie was here uh, in 2008 at the Eccles. Yeah. So it's. Uh, it's familiar territory, but every time you come here, it's great. I mean, it feels like it's such a good um, audience, you know, and the people are so responsive to good movies, and, you know, they're really into it, which is great. Definitely. Well, I mean, especially when people wait for your movie in the snow. I know. I mean, that's, that's how much they want to see something you made. I know. It always impresses me that people are willing to do that. You know, it's sort of a little embarrassing. Like, really? Right. Uh, so let's talk about Beirut. Let's yeah. talk about how, how did you get this cast together? Well, uh, we had a great script. Uh, Tony Gilroy wrote a really uh, phenomenal script, um, and that's always the draw for actors, as it was for me. John Hamm uh, responded to it. We had some conversations. He really got jazzed about doing it. Rosmond uh, came on around the same time, Rosmond Pike, who plays uh, in the movie as well. Um, and then I think the two of them, you know, when, it's sort of the thing when, when one act, good actor comes in and another one wants to join the, the, join the party and suddenly you got yourself a movie, you know. Um, but I think this is the kind of movie where John was so, like, tailor-made for this role, you know. He plays a sort of period diplomat from the 70s and 80s in a, in a war-torn country. I mean, it, the sort of uh, guy seeking redemption from a, from a, from a, a, a you know, kind of a tragic past. So he really responded to it, um, as, as, as you would imagine. Did you have any fun with that 70s to 80s jump? Because there were some things that happened, especially in those time periods right Yeah, now. well, I love doing it. The periodness of it, to me, was a big draw. I mean, doing, just recreating the 80s, it all, uh, for one thing, but then recreating the 80s in the Middle East was, you know, a totally different thing too. So that part of it, and trying to get all the details right, the hair, the, the clothing, the vibe, you know, was really kind of cool and, and interesting. Um, so that, uh, and that we and we shot the movie in, in Morocco, in Tangier, so it turned out to be a really good place to do that, and it wasn't much of a stretch to make that city look like Beirut was 40 or 30, 30, 40 years ago or something like that, you know? It has a little bit of a rundown, you know, weathered quality to it. Well, we are movie nerds, but we're also comic nerds. Can you tell us anything about Titans, the episode you guys are reworking <laughs> on? Come on, Brenton, all that stuff. I know, I can't, oh, I just finished it, uh, the first two episodes. So it's fresh. Yeah, literally fresh. <laughs> Cutting it as we speak. Um, I think it's gonna be a good show. Uh, it's a great premise. The characters, the actors we got for the different characters are really good. There's some great action sequences. The fight scenes are amazing. Um, good writers. I think that it's got a really promising future. Is there, is there anything you really want to put of yourself into the comic book world with Titans? And I'm not a big, I'm not, that, that world isn't really that familiar to me, to be honest with you. That's probably one of the reasons I was interested in doing it, was to bring a different perspective to the DC or the Marvel comic thing, you know? I mean, it's, I'm not like a Comic-Con guy, really, but they didn't want to make that kind of show. They wanted to do more of a grounded, real show about real characters who happen to have these super heroic qualities, you know? So it was kind of good. Well, as long as you didn't put nipples on any of the bat suits or anything. There are no nipples on the bat suits. <laughs> so, there are no nipples. Yeah, so, yeah, that would be weird. <laughs> well, that's where we got the, the right. three and four. So, well, thank you very much. We yeah. look forward to the film. We look forward to Titans as well. Cool, thanks. Thank you.